Oh, what's up, y'all? It is a fucking fabulous day here in Los Angeles. Good afternoon to y'all. Welcome to a, a new edition of uh, Late Nights with Mark, even though it's daytime, so we'll call this mid to late afternoons with Mark for today. But uh, yeah, guys, a lot of shit to talk about. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Clear my throat there. Get a little of this going. Cheers, motherfuckers. But uh, yeah, first, I uh, want to talk to you guys about this new app that I've been doing. It's called uh, Bumble, and it's been fucking better than Tinder so far. It's really, really interesting. Basically, um, it's the same as Tinder. You know, you swipe left or right, whatever. But uh, once a match or a connection has been made, it's the ladies who have to go first. So, your boy was killing the game on fucking Bumble uh, over the past couple weeks since I've been using it. Or at least, you know, killing the game in terms of getting matches uh, for some other shit. Uh, like I said, killed the game, got a couple matches, uh, went on a couple of uh, interesting dates, I guess if you want to call them there with girls. Uh, one, dang, that one was weird. Uh, I don't know, you could tell there was like no vibe at all. She'd like just come back from a trip to the East Coast, so I think she was probably a little jet lagged and tired. And uh, she does like some YouTube stuff also. She said she was into acting also, so I thought it'd be curious, but dang, man, like it said she was. 36 on her profile she looked more like she was fucking 46 so i don't know man that was tough but uh you know whatever like got out had fun it was cool you know no big deal um uh, another girl i met uh same you know it was like a little interesting she was like an engineer or something like that so not quite connected on that level really nice person but yeah certainly no chemistry or nothing that's gonna happen with that uh so yeah Dudes, going out there, check out Bumble. Tinder's fucking played out. Bumble's the way to go. Nothing came of it, but I remain positive for anything that's gonna happen. Um, wow, next. Uh, God, I've been killing the game on my Snapchat, too, and uh, we're definitely gonna take the late nights with Mark to Snapchat. I'm gonna upload this on Instagram. And uh, again, if you uh, have Snapchat, follow me, Mark Fabric, just like my name. Uh, need to boost my uh, cred on there. And uh, I was talking last night, uh, I was reading, I was reading, <laughs> I was watching uh, Calvin Harris Snapchat, and he was just talking about how, uh, you know, what's cool about Snapchat is that, you know, you don't, there's no negative comments or feedback or anything, you just do with Snapchat, and that's what's kind of cool. So uh, I'm going to try and do some more fun things on there, like I said, follow me, I will definitely follow you back. Uh, Snapchat is great. I fucking love it. Uh, and yeah, like I said, Late Nights with Mark is going to Instagram. Uh, let's see, like, other news and shit that went down. Oh, basketball. Did you guys hear about Blake Griffin today? <laughs> so apparently, the Clippers were out at, like, team dinner uh, before their game Sunday in Toronto, and uh, Blake punched, like, an assistant equipment manager in the face, uh, breaking his hand in the process and uh, certainly putting a damper on uh, some long playoff hopes for the Clippers, but it's just like, Blake, how are you gonna get fired on your day off? Like, dude, this guy. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be interesting, interesting news to see what happens. Uh, obviously all the talking heads and everything have their opinion and everything, and more details will come. The Clipper game is going on right now, I think. In fact, that's the score. We got uh, Indiana 15 to 14 on them. But uh, yeah, it should be an interesting game to see what happens and just what happens to the Clippers overall. I thought that was funny sports news right there. Um, wow, what else we got going on? Uh, yeah, guys, just uh, looking forward to uh, doing more uh, comedy and acting stuff. If you guys see me out there and you know you have ideas or you want to get together and collab or something, then you hit me up and let's do this. I was doing some stuff with a couple buddies over the weekend. Uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, share some of that stuff on Instagram with you too. And I'm still waiting on the little web commercial I did to uh, get posted online as well. Should pretty soon, one would hope. But um, yeah, let's see what else we got. Um, I don't know, I want to start doing like a little song of the week too, or something like that. And I don't want to do it like something that's obvious. I don't want to be like, hey guys, check out the newest Martin Garrix track. And you know, something that A, you guys would expect, and B, Martin certainly doesn't need my help promoting the song, but uh, I don't know, sticking with like big, actually I really like the vocal mix of uh, Tiesto and Oliver Heldens, uh, Juan Bass, but it's the right song with Natalie LaRose on vocals, 
But uh, I think the other thing that's really funny is uh, the Rehab and Sierra collab. They actually performed together at uh, Coachella last year, and it's kind of crazy that the song's taken that long to come out, but, you know, that's how things go in the business and the industry. And uh, I just obviously, as you guys saw over the playoffs, Seahawks lost, a uh, huge backlash against Russell Wilson on social media, you know, people using hashtag free bands, because obviously, if you didn't know, Future and Sierra have a child together. Now Sierra is with Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson. They are apparently abstinent together, so don't know how that works, but uh, I just think it would be really funny if uh, it wasn't, you know, Future cursing Russell with the help of Lil B, if it was on the opposite end, like somehow Rehab and Sierra working together, <laughs> curse Russell Wilson and everything. <laughs> but that's just me. I'm the one who has to put an EDM twist on things. It's funny, but I don't know. No one mentioned that Rehab and Sierra worked together, even though it was pretty funny. Oh, nice. Little John download on SoundCloud. But uh, yeah, uh, the Rehab Sierra song, Get On Up, is all right. It's not really what I was expecting. Oh, there we go. I heard this track today. Uh, Zed's Dead remix of Omar Lake's Red Light, Green Light. Good stuff. Very cool, like, future based sounds. You know, it's kind of Zed's Dead's distinctive brand of dubstep. And Future House. <laughs> But uh, I'm losing my sunlight here. Uh, just wanted to uh, say what's up to everyone. Uh, things have been going pretty good. Been doing a lot of acting stuff lately. Just trying to keep busy with that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, clear throat again. Obviously, just writing articles. Uh, haven't done any shows since December, but hopefully I got a couple coming up in February. Hopefully see Showtech at Create, and then we'll definitely see Eric Prids for his Epic 4.0. And uh, then, yeah, festival season's coming up soon, too. So it's exciting times around here. Glad you guys tuned in. Uh, please share the word with your friends about Late Nights with Mark. It's great stuff. We're going to try and improve upon it and do more stuff this year in 2016. Again, subscribe to me on Snapchat, Mark Fabric, and follow me on Insta, at Mark Fabric. There should be other cool stuff coming soon, too. So, uh, again, hope you guys are all enjoying this beautiful weather we're having here in Southern California. If you're not, suckers! And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I will see you guys later. Bye.